And the correct answer is that the big M and little n alleles would have been together on the same homologue. And you know that because they and the little m, big N combination are the most frequent And the fact that they're the most frequent tells you that they're the parental combinations. Now, one more problem. Again, we have a man who's heterozygous for two genes on the same chromosome. And you're told that these genes are, you know which alleles he inherited from his father and which from his mother. And you're told that the genes are far enough apart that sometimes crossovers occur. Which of these choices describes the combination of gametes that are going to be produced by many meioses? <laughs>